Welcome to your Dobeck Performance Tutorial on the Safer Diagnostic Tools functionality. After you have properly installed the Safer on the vehicle of your choice, connect the power to the unit. There are two basic ways that the Safer will power up. The difference between the two ways is whether or not the engine is running and the exhaust is flowing. When the Safer has power, but the engine is not running, the four LED lights at the bottom of the gauge will start to scroll back and forth. At the same time, the needle will scroll all the way rich and then all the way lean. The needle will stay all the way lean until the engine is started. And the Bosch Wideband O2 sensor has exhaust to take readings from. After the exhaust starts flowing, the needle will start to provide feedback from the O2 sensor. The second way the Safer powers up is when the engine and the power are started at the same time. In this instance, the gauge will power up and the LED lights will scroll just like before. The difference being that the needle will scroll all the way rich and stay there until the O2 sensor picks up a reading. It is important to note that the four LED lights on the gauge serve no actual purpose on the Safer unit. Different combinations of lights may come on while you use the Safer, none of which actually indicate anything. When you initially start up your vehicle, it will most likely run a little rich until it reaches its operating temperature at which point it will lean out by 1 to 2 AFR units. At idle, anything that is naturally aspirated should run between 12 and 13 AFR. During hard acceleration, and when you have the throttle wide open, the AFR should be between 12 and 13.1. During steady to light cruise, the AFR should be between 13.1 and 14. During deceleration, AFR readings are not to be trusted. Depending on the vehicle, the AFR will either read rich or way lean and do not reflect the tune on your vehicle.